Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a makeup tutorial for all the professional and college going students who find themselves in the dilemma of what kind of makeup they should wear during their office or college time. So if you want to know which sort of makeup will be perfect for you then keep on watching. As this is a more of a professional and polished look so it is better to go for light to medium coverage foundation or BB cream or your favorite tinted moisturizer because it will give you a natural and subtle look as well. So I'll be using my tinted moisturizer from Lotus. It has SPF 15 in it and also a tint of foundation but, but before that I have already primed my face and I have used baby skin instant pore eraser primer. You need to use primer as summers are almost here and you want your makeup to stick on your face so it's better to go for a primer. Before applying this tinted moisturizer I have some pimple issues going on so I want to conceal it first and this will again give you more of a natural look. So I'm going with my Maybelline concealer and I'm going to conceal these areas what should I call them pimple acquired areas so yeah I will conceal them and I will take some of the concealer on the brush apply some of the concealer and just dab it but go very light handed with your concealer because you don't want a cakey finish you just want again a natural and more like a subtle look now it's time to use my lotus harbor professional lotion and i'll be taking few pumps of it so let's take few pumps on the back of the hand and dab it on the skin. I have used this moisturizer before and I found this moisturizer very tainted plus very light also. Now let's dab it. If you want to use your finger you can use it or if you want to use any sponge or brush you can also use it. Now I'm going to use my fingers and will blend this moisturizer same as I blend my other moisturizers. Now you need to set your tinted moisturizer and concealer beneath it with some compact powder or any loose powder if you want to. So I'm taking my Maybelline compact powder, tapping off the excess and will set it. As I told you earlier, this makeup look needs to look more natural and polished. So you can totally skip the eyeshadow part but if you want to apply some eyeshadows then go for neutral colors like I'm going to use my I love obsession palette Paris go for is this light pinkish neutral kind of shade you don't need to build up more dimension just a little hint of color is more than enough so this will not add any kind of drama to your makeup after applying eyeshadow now let's move further and curl our eyelashes and the mascara I'm going to use is from Lakme Iconic Curling Mascara. You will find this makeup tutorial very easy and less time consuming also. I usually don't use any kind of eyeliner. But if you want to use any kind of eyeliner then go very light handed with this also. Try to avoid any winged eyeliner. But I will definitely apply some of the kajal in the inner side of my lash line. This will add more fullness to your lashes and look. Now I'm going to line my lower lash line and I'll be using a nude eyeliner for this because I have smaller eyes and this will make my eyes look more bigger and wider. And this eyeliner is from Essence in the shade Money Penny. No contouring for this look but if you want to add a bit of bronzer you can go for it but use bronzer in the medium shade. Like I have this one from Maybelline. This is in the medium shade. The swirl, just apply on the whole of your cheeks. You don't need much drama as I explained earlier. More natural going look. Now I'm going to give tiniest bit of color to my cheeks. And I'll be using the blush color show from Maybelline. This will add more natural glow to your look. Bronzer and blush is completely optional. If you don't have time, you can totally skip this part. If you're skipping this bronzer and blush part, then use highlighter instead. It's better to use a liquid highlighter. Like I have this one from Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. It's better to use a liquid highlighter than a powder highlighter because 
it will give you a more skin like look just take few drops on the top of your cheekbones and this will look more skin like and will melt into your skin very easily and to finish off use any pinkish nude or neutral shade color for your lips so i'm going with my lotus color bar stylo chubby lips in the shade nude better to use matte colors rather than using any other lip gloss and if you ever feel there's a lot of color going on just dab it off with your fingers and to lock all of this in place i'm going to use my faces hydro face mist let it self dry so this is it for today's video i hope you will find this video helpful i used very affordable products in this video and their description will be in the description box give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so yeah that's all for today's tutorial i'll catch you guys next time till then take care bye